I'm Sandhush Gadankar. Today I'm discussing about the control engineering. There is a root locus. This is a polo. The number of poles here is 1, 2, 3. P is equal to 3. S is equal to 0, minus 1, minus 2. Number of zeros, Z is equal to 1 here. Number of zeros, 1. Therefore, S is equal to minus 6. Number of branches, number of branches, P is greater than Z. Therefore, P is equal to N is nothing but 3. Nothing but 3. Number of branches terminating at infinity, P minus Z, P is 3, Z is 1, it is 2. Number of branches terminating at infinity is 2. Root lock is symmetry about the real axis. Root lock is present on the real axis. Now, P is nothing but how much? 3, Z is 1, minus 1. P is nothing but 1. Therefore, K is equal to 0, 1. When theta at the numerator is 0, 2 into 0 plus 1 into 180 divided by 3 minus 1 is nothing but 90 degree. Similarly, when theta at the bottom 1 is nothing but 2 into 1 plus 1 180 divided by 3 minus 1 is nothing but 270 degree. 270. Next, breakaway point, uh, centroid. Summation of this one, summation of this one, this is nothing but 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 6 divided by 3 minus 1 is nothing but plus 1.5 plus 1.5 now break away point plus g of s into h of s is equal to 0 plus write this question here this is nothing but k s plus 6 divided by yes yes plus 1 yes plus 2 this one it is written here is equal to 0 now this can be written as again yes yes plus 1 yes plus 2 plus k yes plus 6 is equal to 0 further it can be written as s yes, s yes square plus 2s yes, plus s yes, plus 2 plus k s yes plus 6 is equal to 0 further s yes cube plus 2s square plus s square plus 2s yes, plus k s yes, plus 6 is equal to 0 and finally can be written as s cube plus 3s square plus 2s plus k s plus 6 is equal to 0 where k is nothing but minus s cube plus 3s square plus 2s divided by s plus 6 next is nothing but dk by ds you have to differentiate this one differentiate if you differentiate differentiate this one you will obtain first term you have to keep uh, this term as, as it is s plus 6 as it is differentiate this one if you take negative no follow I will consider only the positive. I will neglect this negative. If you consider the negative also, you will obtain the same result. This will be yes, 3s square plus 6s plus 2 minus s cube plus 3s square plus 2s into 1 divided by s plus 6 whole square is equal to 0 
is equal to 0. This goes this direction and after multiplying each term, you will obtain the final expression as 2s cube plus 21s square plus 36 years plus 12 is equal to 0. And the root for this one is root is s is equal to minus 0 0.4429 comma minus 8.458 comma minus 1.602 these are the roots next we have to find out the crossover point about the imaginary axis by using the root array use this value here s cube plus 3 s square plus 2 s plus k s plus 6 is equal to 0 s cube s square s raised to 1 0 1 3 2 3 2 no we required one next term no? let it be just wait here you simplify this one s cube plus 3s square plus 2s plus k s plus 6k further s cube plus 3s square plus 2 plus k s plus 6k is equal to 0 here first is 1 third next is 2 plus k you are right next is 6 6k 6k Multiply this one, this and this. 3 into minus 6k into 1 divided by 3. You will operate answer minus 3k plus 6 divided by 2. Minus 3k plus 6 divided by 2. This will be 0 and final will be 6k final will be 6k final will be 6k now finding the value of k this is required minus 3k plus 6 divided by 2 less greater than equal to 0 this goes direction this way it will 0 minus 3k plus 6 is equal to 0 minus 3k minus 6 k is equal to k is equal to 2 and this is used for where the imagination axis is good s square 3 s square plus 6 k is equal to 0 3 s square plus 6 into k is nothing but 2 is equal to 0 therefore s is nothing but plus or minus k is nothing but plus or minus 2 j 2j. Now we are drawing the graph. This is the graph. What are the poles? Poles are 0, minus 1, minus 2. Zeros are minus 6. This is a 0. Now count it in order to draw the locus. Now keep it here in this way. There is one pole. That means the root locus exists here. If you count it here, 2, odd number, even number. There is no root locus exist. Now count here, count here, keep it this way, even number, no, sorry, odd number. The root locus exists between these two. Root locus exists between these two. One more something is missed. No. Excellent. root locus exist in between these two and here there is no root locus exist here there is no root locus exist now now find out the centroid where is the centroid centroid is this is the centroid sigma plus 
1.5 sigma is equal to 1.5 what about the angle 90 and 270 the angle will be in this way 90 and 270 straight line 90 this will be 270 90 270 270 and next now after written denoting go for roots root uh, here you have to see now uh, here 0 minus 0 0.44 means approximate minus 0 0.44 means here 0.4429 next is 8.245 8 point there is no root locus neglect this one next is minus 1 uh, minus 1 1.60 there is no root locus neglect this one that's it now imaginary terms 2j it cuts here next 2j therefore the root locus will be in this way starts here moves in this way starts here in this way infinite infinity infinity direction because it located between the two poles in this way okay this is infinite 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 where k is nothing but two k is nothing but this is the diagram it is operating. I am Santush Gaidankar. Thank you very much.